And folks, you can blow this picture up and play with it. I'm not going to show all the panties off, but the idea that fake bake, BS, look what they're trying to give us. We've never seen that dome before, have we, ladies and gentlemen? And it's the goofiest radar dome I've ever seen in my life. And that ain't no radar dome stanchion. And that ain't no, oh, uh, we're pulling it into, yeah. You don't change oil on a radar dome. And you don't move it around too goddamn much or your GPS is all messed up. And where's our dome on top of the building? Yeah. Fake bake BS. Vino Black. The biggest, baddest bastard in Amer North America. Blow me. That is fake. Bullshit. The dome's up here. This is BS. They're fake baking ya. Now, did something to do with some kind of world trade organization mess with this? Quite possibly. Because the idea that Niermeyer Station is a... Just go and look into it. Okay? Bino Black's going to keep himself with the little legal disclosure on the end of the deal. And this is BS. This is fake fake. And I don't think these guys, even though they're not an American institution, did this. Okay? Someone's going to be kissing somebody's ass because this is bull crap. Later. Uh, well, not later. Here's the rest of the video. Okay, folks, even though I put a little bit of humor in there, we got a 5.5, and earlier this looked like a 5.8, and basically it probably was, and they're taking more notches off than what we think, and a good example is I'm going to show you the, the seismic that I pulled up right about when this quake happened, because when I pulled this window up, then the quake happened, okay, so let me go to seismic. Okay, folks, here's the seismic. And you're going to see when we get down here is below India, China. You'll see that you can go to USGS. I'm not going to worry about that because I don't trust half of what they say. Because it was basically a 5.8 when it came up on the monitor a while ago. And then they knocked it down to a 5.5. They've been doing that quite all the history that everybody's been watching these earthquakes uptick. So, And you'll see, I know that the Antarctic has it. And there it is. Basically, it's way bigger than that when the idea that your pole axis on the South Pole. And then we're going to go to show you that stuff real fast hang on i.e. your pole shift north is somewhat okay but the center is like about right there so it's a little bit off than what we've had lately the antarctica sh is constantly off down there and i'll slide down to that real fast as you can see when we go through here real fast that will be the weak volcano and uh, earthquake zones uh, as we go over here to the right, you will see how far the pole shift is off. And i.e. more of where you're more likely to have an earthquake. Big time right there and there. So really right down in the Dominican Republic and stuff like that. Really thin right now. Also over here off the coast of Brazil. So a lot of pressure. And the idea that we are going to, since we're here, we'll pop over and show you real fast what they are hiding you on. Soho because the idea that I'm going to show you the Navy picture and they are hiding this asteroid belt here and they are giving this LASCO 3 to us again upside down folks. Anybody that's looked at LASCO for a long time this is supposed to be over here right where I just put the finger. Okay, We'll take you to Navy and Navy won't lie to you. They'll show you the way it's supposed to be. So blow this up and I got it at 400 right now, so you're going to see all this activity anyway. But this is what you're going to end up seeing. You flip the picture, and I'll also show you the star map, and I'll figure out what that is. Current North America and all our boundaries in the oceans and so forth. There's your constellation map currently. This is 2.49 p.m. Central T Standard Time, 11.30-2011. So the idea that the closest thing that we would have to the sun would be Mercury, and Venus and Saturn and the moons over there and let's give you I will bring up that but let's since we're looking at the moon and where it's at now we'll see the times of where and what the eclipse is still possibly going on or the other what is our mo other moon besides our moon and so forth and so on and these other objects down there because the sun is still eclipsing by the moon and not much more than what we've seen when I showed the eclipse the night of the eclipse down there in Antarctica. So you can go look at that footage and then compare it to this next footage. I.e. this is what's going to show you that what they are covering. 
and the idea this is where it's normally supposed to be at and this is the Navy's not lying to you about that and they're covering up the asteroid belt on the edge because when we get a solar flare it all blinks out at one time you don't just get these with certain lines you can see it's razor blade action and they cut it out they don't want you to see that and what it'll do is match up and it'll show you this asteroid belt hang on this is even a better star map for you and that's what was near to the sun and the idea that this is our uh, sat satellites will be along this line so with satellites over here and our other satellites over here somewhere on this and it could be anywhere but that's what these views will be this from this satellite line to this satellite line because stereo ahead A and stereo B behind always stay in line with each other and I'm pretty sure behind's here and A's there uh, and then we'll go to the other map but th this way you can pick up stars and, and do a lot of it better if you're really into searching for poop All right. So it's not poop, it's big ass stuff and uh, mother nature and solar and all that out there. Okay, so close objects to Earth. Remember we got 2000 YA, December 26th. Very small IU distance. As you can see, they highlighted it there on RSOE. And as we scroll down, we will see this is NASA. Okay, we'll just throw down there the close objects and you will see what 2012 is going to look like, folks. We get real busy. If you think 2011's been busy, wait till you see what we got going on in 2012. Check all that out. It's a nice punch list, folks, coming up. And I mean punch list, folks. This is a construction term. The idea that we got a lot of stuff coming around that needs to be looked at, finished up, and yep. But most of the close stuff it looks to be 2011 now, especially on the 26th. So, but lots of other stuff. In 2012, folks, as you see, there's the date, 2012, February 28th, on through, tons of stuff, asteroid belt, and we're going to take a look at that right now. Okay, and we'll go back to this, it's going to be Venus, folks, it's pretty much going to be what's got to be in the, the biggest object that we're seeing up here on Soho, i.e. that, and, and our video here, folks, as you see all this stuff, I'm bringing it and jogging it back real fast, because they have the clock running hella fast through this. And this is upside down, as you can see. The Navy shot I just showed you, they're showing us at the right direction. So the idea that we need to really look at and go back and freeze the star map that I gave you, because that's very accurate that NASA gives us. And basically that, and basically another branch of the government, folks. So the idea that the Navy shows us the picture correctly. This is upside down, and this is that object that we see in this shot. So let's let this play through. And yes, folks, that's not a solar flare that came through the middle. That is light through space. Light through space, folks, flashing right through the sun. See all that? That is not photo scratch. That is not a CME. Now, that is CME when it, this is all CME, okay? And that was actually CME when that, you'll see a blotch right here that will come up. A blotch, not a razor cut, a blotch that will affect the camera. And you can see that that happens like that, okay? but not at the time of that photo, that Navy one, that we are going to go to right now, which basically I'll go back and show you what they're blocking out here with the picture in the right direction. Remember, this current Soho is a closer in shot, okay? I.e., some of that belt is showing here. Lots of... So once again, folks, here's our object, and we are going to flip it, because you have to flip this picture. Then you will understand, because you see that big object there that comes through, because we are looking at this Navy picture, check it out, on Soho. This is flipped around. Navy is showing you the correct direction. Navy is showing you this is real, okay? This is all real. This is the action there. And there's also this old asteroid belt here that they're going to be trying to block you. Basically, they are blocking you right here on this. Now, check this out on Soho, and I'll mi minus it down. Now, this is Soho, so there it is over there, but that is what they have flipped around, you see? And there's so much motion. Check this out. Now I'm going to flip it down to 200%, and there you get an idea that they flipped it and get that what the given us free is fake bake turned around, okay? So this is all this solar belt, asteroid belt, or whatever action that's popping in and out, and got a lot of activity from all the way here all the way around down here. Okay, because this is up flipped on this. Okay, I know the time doesn't, I don't believe it matches up. That's 20. What do we got? We got 
on the 30th, 418 Zulu. But there's your shot, and it's not going to be too much off different from this. 430, six hours later. Okay, but they flipped this shot around. Okay, and there's your flopping around action and your asteroid action. And this is our archangel, folks, the cross through history and time, the church, everything, folks. And religious relax, because I am. So, anyway, but I'm also a scientist. So, the idea, this stuff's up there in the sky. And this cross action does all kinds of action. And let me see if I can get the other Soho picture. So, there's something on the side of the arm here. The arm it takes the brightest spot out, protects it from the solar flares, basically, the camera. Doesn't really block the light totally. It does a little bit, but it protects it from getting the solar blast, the CME, electrical charge. Okay, that basically that protects it from. And usually they can see through it. I.e., let me show you that. Anybody that has been here before, there you go. They can see through it. Okay. Yes, folks, x-ray vision on our satellites. Okay, so basically this is what gets blocked over here. Okay, so you get to see it on this shot. Okay, and it's flipped. Okay. So otherwise, we don't see our flamer anymore there on Soho. It's still uh, CME in like crazy. I.E., Okay, so we know the sun's going in the supergiants, crazy stuff going on, okay? Shouldn't let her daughter run around an area like that. So anyway, our little son is jumping around in the supergiants, not getting treated very well. Okay, anybody that knows Niermeyer Station, they know this is fake BS, okay? And you can even tell by the picture. I got to blow it up at 400%, and you can blow it up even bigger. So it's just an optical illusion that they're trying to give you because we know what's going on and what we've been seeing down there. Okay, phone's raising, ringing here for a reason, folks, because this is BS. This picture, anybody knows Neumeyer Station has never seen this before, okay? Anybody has been watching that's never been there before. Okay, now check this out. I'm going to go to the webcams. And if anybody's been there lately, it's all, and actually here comes blows them right in the, and yeah, they, anybody can move stuff around and say, well, woo-woo, but the idea you can see on this very small picture, and I'm going to blow this up to 400%, folks, and this will really blow the socks off it, because here we're going to go to 400%, and you're going to see the radar dome on top of what everybody knows. That's the radar dome on top, and where is the dome that they got out here? Yeah, they're playing around. Just comments, just because my stepdaughter likes penguins. Even the penguins are pissed, folks. Even the penguins are mad, okay? I you digging around, folks, and here's some more on Niemeyer Station, and there is their radar dome on top of it, and we've seen the pictures in the past. We got them to go back and watch all my old movies, and we don't see no radar dome out there around it, do we? Nope, because they don't need it around there. They don't need it, and they don't have it there. All right, now let's go. I'm trying to find uh, webcams. It's gotten confused here. So we're going to find it, folks. I hear, folks, I'll blow it up even more, and you'll even see them lying to you because you can back the video up, and you will see that up to here they don't show you big pictures of this. This here. This here is not there, folks. That's right. And if it is, it's not the same thing we seen earlier. Back the video up, folks. And no, none of their meteorological balloons, and there's the radar dome again on top, okay? And the idea that none of their balloons get as massive that it can call it causes and takes, they don't, a weather balloon doesn't take three hours to fly over and doesn't have those differentiating uh, marks that we've seen on it yesterday. So check the video out yesterday. So that somebody doesn't try to blow it up our butt, folks, that here's these weather balloons and the idea that I'm going to blow it up 400% here so you can see that the idea that the size of this weather balloon, if they try to start pulling that, that, that blocks the sun and this is that and that, that's not it. You can see these tanks and they don't get that big, folks. Okay, so it's what we think it is and it's pretty much what we know it is down there. Okay, more ov overview, folks, for this many years, no radar dome there. Only on top of the building, folks. See? No radar dome. Only on top of the building. And as you can see, they're playing around with the pictures. Not a real picture like these two pictures. So we're going to click on here. Where, but this is different, and we can see here in a second we shouldn't, and it doesn't. So right now there is seems to be a link problem of getting to the cams. And I think I know what's up, and we, I think we know what we all smell. So the idea that go ahead and look at all my old videos, and you will see footage of this here base. 
and it looks nothing like this here that they're trying to make you believe. All right, it's exactly what we've been seeing down there. I'm going to give the disclosure, and we'll have other video. And thanks to the scientists down there letting us know that what we know is really going.